7 a.m. new tributes for friend star Matthew Perry, who has passed away in L.A. aged 54. He leaves behind a legacy that made television history. His signature sarcasm adored by millions across the world. This morning, tributes for the actor fans considered one of their friends. How are you feeling? Well, my apartment isn't there anymore because I drank it. Sitcom star Matthew Perry dying aged 54, found dead in a hot tub at his LA home. Authorities overnight confirming they did not find illegal drugs in his house, but numerous prescription drugs. You are dead meat. I didn't know it was a big secret. <laughs> no, it's not big. Not at all. You know, kind of the same lines as, say, oh, I don't know, having a third nipple. He was best known for playing Chandler Bing on Friends, the sarcastic, dry best mate to Matt LeBlanc's Joey. Will you promise me something? When you're married, will you invite me over for holidays? Well, I, mean, I don't know what we're going to be doing. An initially secret boyfriend, then eventual husband, to Courtney Cox's Monica. Overnight tributes from co-stars and friends. Maggie Wheeler, who played one of Chandler's girlfriends in the TV series, the joy you brought to so many in your too short lifetime will live on. Paget Brewster, another of Chandler's flames. He won't rest in peace, though. He's already too busy making everyone laugh up there. From Selma Blair, my oldest boyfriend. I loved him unconditionally, and he me. And Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, an old school friend. I'll never forget the schoolyard games we used to play, and I know people around the world are never going to forget the joy he brought them. British singer Adele pausing her Las Vegas show overnight to honour the actor. I remember that character for the rest of my life. I say how much I love what he did for us, especially for what he did for me. He created one of the best comedic characters of all time. Though his legacy will be the laughs he shared with the world, in his own words... I would like to be remembered as somebody who uh, lived well, loved well. His paramount thing is that he wants to help people. That's, that's what I want. Jonathan Kersley is at Warner Brothers Studios where the 90s sitcom Friends was filmed. Jono, we've just heard from the actor's family who are heartbroken. Yeah, they are, understandably, Carl. The family issuing a statement this morning saying they're heartbroken by what they say is the tragic loss of a man they described as a beloved son and brother. It goes on to say Matthew brought so much joy to the world, both as an actor, as a friend. And to the fans, they say you all meant so much to him and we appreciate the tremendous outpouring of love. As you say, it was from here that Matthew Perry became a household name. This is where Friends was filmed and from here where he provided so many laughs on a sitcom for a decade. Those five co-stars, David Schwimmer, Jennifer Aniston, Lisa Kudrow, Matt LeBlanc and Courtney Cox, yet to issue a public statement following the passing of the man they were a friend with and so close to for so long. Perhaps that a sign of the unity they have, the bond they shared and the grief right now, they may all be feeling together. Carl. Jono, thank you. Well, Gwyneth Paltrow has just paid tribute to Matthew Perry, saying he was so funny and so sweet and so much fun to be with. She talks about their summer together in 1993 and says, quote, we drove out to swimming creeks, had beers in the local college bar, kissed in a long field of grass. It was magical. His death has rattled the industry and his millions of fans, including Grammy-nominated singer Charlie Puth, who is touring Australia. Here is his tribute in Melbourne. Stunning, wasn't it? Let's bring in entertainment reporter Sam Rubin in Hollywood. Sam, good morning to you. An enormous loss. 
Carlos, uh, an unspeakable loss. Uh, I'm going to use a phrase that I think many around the world are saying. He was my favorite friend. I think Chandler Bing was really the soul of the show, the smartest one, the one with the best lines. The writers of the show, the creators, talk about how Matthew Perry could always cap a scene. And as we learn from that friend's reunion, the idea to get a laugh or to better the joke was something that was really an obsession for Matthew Perry. Another thing, Carlos, that comes to mind is I think people were really rooting for Matthew Perry. Yeah. As we see here at the Friends reunion, five of them seem as healthy as ever, and one seems changed. That one, Matthew Perry, who had gone through an unbelievable struggle with addiction, and if you had an opportunity to read the book, you just know how incredibly severe it was. You know, and I think that's a really good point, Sam, um, the fact that, that he was flawed. Um, and that he was open with his struggles and, and everyone could see it. Uh, of all the friends, uh, he resonated and probably connected um, more than any of them. I, you know, I, I think that's true because there was, A, this, this sort of first act, this extraordinary global success. And then as we later learned, addiction even taking hold then, he famously said he doesn't remember three seasons of the 10 seasons that he shot the show, 236 episodes all told. And the fact that in this last chapter of his life, he was so incredibly honest, incredibly candid, that that book reads almost like a horror novel. And then what people have been doing over the last uh, day are compiling statistics from this conversation with Diane Sawyer. 6,000 visits to Alcoholics Anonymous more than a dozen visits to rehab, uh, the quantities of, of alcohol and the quantities of prescription drugs. And, and one of the confessions from the book that he would go to fancy open houses here in Beverly Hills and Los Angeles and Hollywood. Oh my gosh, Matthew Perry's touring the house. Little did people know he was going into the bathrooms and the medicine cabinets and raiding them, behaving almost like a drug dealer, except he was the only client. And, and the thing that Matthew Perry uh, has also talked about is while friends, Brian Cranston uses this phrase, friends is the tombstone role, uh, he wants to be remembered for more as this active member of the sober community. He took his house in Malibu and turned it into a sober house. And he said, if nothing else, anybody who's had a problem with drugs or alcohol, they can talk to me and I can help them because I've walked that path, which indeed he has. Sam Rubin, thank you. United Entertainment uh, Editor Richard Wilkins. Um, Dickie, good morning to you. Um, you got to interview Matthew a few times. I this. did. He always said he wanted to be remembered for the laughs, and he yeah. provided plenty of them. Yeah, look, I had the pleasure of visiting them on the set of Friends a couple of times over the years, and what, what really struck me about them was the, the genuine friendship between them. You know, mm. these were six people who were really joined at the hip, um, and you could see that. You could see the support, and that they all had each other's backs. Mm. You know, it was quite famous how they negotiated together. They, they really stuck together. And Matthew, you know, he was quite unassuming, really. Uh, they're such a, a lovely bunch of people. They all really, no, no one wanted to stand out from the pack, I, I think. You know, mm. Matthew was such a great team player. Uh, very much a part of the ensemble. It was it was wonderful casting, of course, wasn't yeah. it? Wasn't mm, it? Yeah, it really was. But, you know, the thing, when, when we look back, he said he couldn't look back at these shows because he knew what he was going through at the time mm. when he was making each of these seasons. He said season nine was the only one that he was clean, sober mm. on, and that was the one that he went, was, also, was was nominated for an Emmy for. So, so it just goes to show. But, um, you know, he was, he was very open in his memoir, particularly, about the struggles that he was having, his addiction to painkillers and alcohol. It's, very, it's such a sad story. He said he should be dead in his memoir. And, um, you know, it's just such a sad loss. I, I'm sure his friends and, and family will all be saying, what could we have done? How could we have helped? That's the, the, the terrible legacy of something like this. But, um, yeah, he's gone way he too He connected, soon. didn't he? Mm. Um, he and, sure and did. Everyone knew his issues, and even that reunion there, yeah. Yeah. I think, said a lot. Yeah, you know. Yeah, we just we just sort of figured that he'd find his way out of it all. Um, but sadly, that's mm. not to be. Great loss, Hollywood in mourning today, and fans and friends right around the world. Yeah. Listen. Thank you, you Dickie. Right. I took the quiz, and it turns out I do put career before men. <laughs> Get up. What? Near my seat. How is this your seat? Because <laughs> I was sitting there.
But then you left. Well, it's not like I went to Spain. I went to the bathroom. You knew I was coming back. What's the big deal? Sit somewhere else. The big deal is I was sitting there last. So, it's my seat. Well, actually, the last place you were sitting was in there, so... <laughs> you guys, you know what? You know what? It doesn't matter. Because you both have to go get dressed before the big vein in my head pops. <laughs> so... All right, Ross, I just have to do one thing oh. really quickly. It's right. not a big deal. Get up! <laughs> it was the band of our lives, wasn't it, for yeah. 10 years? Gwyneth Paltrow has just paid tribute to Matthew Perry, saying he was so funny and so sweet and so much fun to be with. She talks about their summer together in 1993 and says, we drove out to swimming creeks, had beers in the local college bar, kissed in a long field of grass. Mm. It was magical. His death has rattled the industry and his millions of fans. Let's bring in Matt Brennan with the Los Angeles Times now. Thank you so much for your time, Matt. And we've heard so many wonderful tributes from people close to Matthew. It really felt like he was a friend to all of us. He really has been remembered by those who posted publicly thus far, including a number of guest stars and um, supporting actors on Friends as someone who was not only a great collaborator, but a really kind soul, um, including folks like uh, Maggie Wheeler, who played uh, Chandler's On Again, Off Again, Love Interest Janice, um, and Mira Sorvino, who he appeared with in a television movie in the 90s. Um, but none of his cast members uh, from the main cast of Friends have spoken out just yet. Um, obviously, uh, you know, folks are still processing the news. Look, um, probably going to be something from them in the next 24 hours, I'd imagine. Um, and, and you'd have to think that they'd all be together um, somewhere with their own tribute. You interviewed Matthew um, a number of times. It felt like he'd got to the point mm. where, you know, he might be, you know, getting himself together. Uh, what impression did he leave you? Yes, I only interviewed him once uh, at the Los Angeles Times Festival Books this spring, speaking about his uh, memoir published last year, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing. Um, in that book, he writes in searing detail about his struggles with uh, alcohol and opioid addiction and the health problems that it caused him. Um, and one of the things that sort of came through in that conversation is that since the last time he got sober, and through the difficult, wrenching process of writing the book, he had really found new purpose uh, in helping people. And you can see that in the responses um, since uh, he uh, passed yesterday, both from his legions of fans that he'd earned through 10 years on Friends and all of his other film and television appearances, but especially from folks in recovery or with loved ones in recovery who appreciated his candor about the experience of getting sober, uh, which was a really tough road for him. Look, you um, you led the, the charge on um, and with some really amazing words and heartfelt words. Um, and having met him, uh, I think you paid tribute to him in, in a wonderful way. We appreciate you being on our show. Thank you. Hey there today, fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God, Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?